After being out of action for a while, you can now create videos like this in mid-journey of the generation process when creating your images. So the way it works is you head down to your prompt bar, type in your prompt, and then add dash dash video at the end. But also, it might be good to control the aspect ratio, so dash dash AR. If you want to change the aspect ratio, I'm going to choose 16 to 9, which is the same size as a TV or a YouTube video, and I hit enter. Now, once you have your grid of images, it does not work on single images, only grids. But I'm going to show you how to crop it after this. But basically, I want to click on the three dots here. I want to react to this with an envelope. I can click Add Reaction and just type in Envelope and click this envelope here. On your phone, you can simply tap and hold and find the envelope that way. And you notice here I have a video. If I scroll up, I also have this URL here. If I click on that, you can see the video. I can come down and download it. And now I have my video, except it's a full grid. So I kind of don't want it to be all four images. I only want it to be one. So I'm going to show you a website to fix that. If you head to google.com, you can type in crop video Adobe Express. you notice here it says free video cropper. I'll also pop a link to this in the description. You'll see here it says upload your video. I click here, find the video I downloaded, and now I have this grid here. All I need to do is take these four corners and move it in. And it will actually snap in the center so you get a relatively accurate crop. Now when you're done, click the download button. It will export the file. I can now give it a name and save it. Exporting may take a moment, but it doesn't, you don't have to wait too long. Now you see here I have my image grid, but I also have the video I cropped. So I can check it out. And while the video is full resolution, the actual generation at the start isn't until you get to the very end, but it's still a pretty nifty effect. So that's how you can now make these videos with Mid Journey. They're pretty easy, pretty simple, and I want to give an update because now it's so easy to crop with this Adobe Express tool. So have, have a little fun with that, see what you can create, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like, and I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.